就是这样吧，感激不尽。嘿嘿嘿，有何贵干？ So when someone's grateful for you, you can talk to them to gain rapport. Talk usually not doing much. Now let's see. Do you have anything I need mentoring in? Absolutely not. Do I want to practice with them? Absolutely not. Well, might as well discuss. I'll call. I'll judge you. And shut down. Let's get back to the patrols. Let's Oh, good, we got rank. Increases our troop count and stats. The Lord can't give a higher rank than they have. So, he's capped by how high he is. You only have so many to give out. Attack, attack, defend, knock out, defend. So with a high enough dual skill, uh, no names become pretty much not worth worrying about, but there can still be some tense times as you've seen. Oh, there are characters that are always going to be tense, like Guan Yu or Lu Bu. Oh, I've been dismissed as minister. That probably means he has a better candidate with a higher relevant staff. Talk with Lu Bu. <laughs> and he would be a good person to have mentor us. Ooh, will I join the Yellow Turbans? On it, let's see a lot more action and make it a lot more interesting. On the other hand, we'd lose pretty quickly. On the other, other hand, your faction losing isn't the end unless you get executed. 
this game can open up a lot of stories from defeat. Still, I put down roots here. Since there are no tasks for me to do, I can just focus on getting my relationship up with people. What is Zhang Liao doing that he is not here? He's the one I really want to get. Alright, now if I visit him again, I can make my first actual friend. Wow, that's a depressing statement. Let's move on. Now the question is, do we want him to fill one of those semi-limited spots? So his forte is training, which isn't a bad one. His decent stats. I'm probably gonna pass. And I am actually quite surprised considering I've barely done anything. Apparently everyone else has been slacking too. I should probably chuck the voice so I don't sound like every bandit I fight. Oh well, attack, 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 defend, knock out. And once again, a small child wants to duel with us. And I guess the power of learning how to hold back has given us more skill. Let's take a look at their other city, see who's stationed there. Oh, more people we can recruit. Defend, attack, defend, knock out, defend. Oh, 
是这样了吧？接受。Yeah, good. We can finally get points with Zhang Liao. Your customer came. You have something to say? I have a idea. Hehehe. 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 就是这样了吧。Oh, yeah, I have space to write orders now. It's not a mister. I can tell other people to do things. Let me say a few words. Let me say a few words. 好，这是我们的计划。好，出发。惜命的话，惜。给，使我紧张。Oh, don't tell me it's a cow again. Well, it's free experience. Might as well help Lu Bu. Yeah, 感激不尽 Being friends with him would help our dueling. 是否别来无恙？报告。Strong military again. Okay. Kinda wish we'd assault cities. Mama, hoo hoo ba. Can't see good. Ha 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 ha! Old guy. Yeah, he's giving us a gift. Do you know what? I don't have to wish we insult cities. When I have this, the favor he owes me. So we sold Julu. I considered it. Simple and direct. Okay, he's approved. So we set the gathering place so both of our stacks will meet at the same time. Now you can have three generals leading each stack, and the generals contribute their skills 
and stats. They also work better together if they're friends. Hoba. Hoba. So I think we'll go both light horse. We have twenty five hundred or twenty five thousand troops. So max I can lead is eleven thousand. Zhang Liao can have the rest. Weapons will do siege ladders, except we don't actually have the gold to. Okay. Well, a battering ram is cheaper. Let's do that. We can even get two of them. No, we can't. What am I thinking? looking at the 300 durability. Two hundred days of supplies, which should be plenty. And do we want to form any stacks from here? Zhang Yan, Song Chen. And we'll leave them there to keep working on the city. Hoba. So he is good with horses. And can you guys afford a siege ladder? No, you cannot. Alright. Now we can deploy. So one thing I love in this game is the world map continues moving while you're in a fight. Well, unless you're paused, of course. So forces can arrive mid-fight, which means you have to care about the entire strategic layer, not just the tactical. Down here we have an objective, destroy Yan Zhang. Doing these objectives will increase morale for your entire faction. Taking forts like this, even if they're unmanned, will decrease morale for the defending faction. Or the faction the fort belongs to. And then there are strategies that are placed at certain points on the map that if you control them, you can activate. For instance, this is Armored Mount Tactic, which increases defense and attack in the area. But since they're not coming to us, it's a complete waste. They have completely ceded the initiative to us, so we can just whittle down their forts. But Zhang Liao wants to rush ahead, which honestly overpower them by a great deal. Uh, we only have one real combatant squad on the enemy side. I don't even need to spin the battering ram. You don't really have to fear cannons and ballista that much. Now, if it was a to butcher this Chino coup, that would be a different story. Let's see if we can intimidate him into coming down to see us. No, he's already in attack range. Why would that? No. Still, there's not too much reason to use the battery yeah. ring yet when we can use the so, up here is your command points that can be used for your individual stratagems. 
They build up over time according to the age of your faction. And are a shared resource. Although since I'm my own little sub-faction here, I have my own. When this right here is green, that means you have the resources available to use your ability. When it's gray, that means you get them. Just an easy little way to tell if someone's primed and ready to go. So he could use ensuring flames, which he almost definitely should. I'm not sure why he's not. The gate has fallen over there. Now, if I had saved the Intimidate, I could have drawn him back to have to fight me. Attacking a gate from the back opens it instantly. Which is good. And the flank should end this guy right Like I said, the world goes on outside of the battle and reinforcements have arrived. Fortunately, those reinforcements were paltry and of no consequence. And during each battle, merits are handed out. I got second. Which means I get a share of the cut. Oh, good, we've captured enemy officers. And now we can merge the stacks for a bit easier coordination. to the cities they're attached to. Uh, 10 morale really means that you gain control faster. You can construct a stronghold here, but there's no real need to. Outside of combat, you can get information which increases your morale and marching speed. Actually, maybe just your morale, don't quote me on that. But it's important to get into formation. Especially since you lose morale over time when marching. And we are just in time to save this guy who we have no real interest in saving, but hey, it's a fight I wanted, so. Okay, I was hoping Jen would flank him. But that appears to not be the case. Oh, cool. me take a push off his army for no reason. So some stratagems are a lot stronger than others. As you can see, he's basically gone super mobile. A lot of the characters who 
you'd expect to have really strong abilities have really strong abilities. Zhang Liao is one of the strongest. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei also being complete beasts. I've chosen a pretty good ability for my guy, but it's not an instant win button like some are. I say instant win, you can always be overpowered by superior force. Even if you had a character with hundreds and everything, you could still lose if you're outnumbered hard enough. Let's go. Yeah. I'm just gonna charge the enemy to get more honors. They're small enough we don't need to break the morale by taking forts. Oh shoot. We are being drenched in fire. He's trying to run away. Let's go around this way. I wrote on us. So there are two ways to win a battle, wiping out all the enemies from taking their home fort. Sound like I should have a follow-up to that, but I don't. Let's continue on. So these small cities have different ranks, which determines what you can build on them when you construct a fort. Which I will show you in a minute. So in tier 1 you can build a fortified camp, which increases everyone's defense. Music tower in tier 2, which increases morale. Infirmary, which is my favorite, it actually gets you people back over time. A depot, which gives you supplies. And a guard camp, which is just a big gate battle that's really advantageous for the defender. So I'm going to build an infirmary. Oh, go. I have no one under my control. Okay. Well, now that I have other tasks to do, it's time to disperse the army. You mean? Oh, and take care of Jian Yang. So And I'm not exactly knowledgeable enough to have a debate, so we'll just roar past him. Now I say I'm not knowledgeable enough, I know the system, it's just my character isn't smart enough. So 
unfortunately, people have been pretty much evacuated out of Changyang, and I only have two people under my command. So, let's see if there are any free agents. Zhang Yi is acceptable. Kinda. Okay, not really. But he's a body, and that's what we need right now. Win show. Now that's a winner. Bogo! Except I am due at the city council. Dang, I want to snap up Wen Cho before he gets taken. Oh, we racked up quite a bit of money in the war. Let's see. We can have a few banquets. Since it'll be a little while before we can have the city council. I say, and then immediately it goes. Ooh, Song Jian will give us speed. It'll be my next target. Culture could be useful. Not really need spear proficiency. We don't have the money to field better troops. The person whose vote you back will like you more, and the other people who back their vote will also like you more. Sure, let's see a debate. This should be pretty one-sided. And because more people agreed with Lu Bu, he has the advantage. <laughs> Debates are more complicated game of I find them pretty interesting and actually pretty strategic, but it's kind of hard to go over that when you aren't controlling it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. So. Alright, if Weizu can control him, that would be great. What考虑的？我一直在等那句话呢。Let's go see if we can still get one show. Oh, Zhang Zhao, the leader of the rebellion, has just been killed. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to try and refuse with debate. Now, if I fail, I pay a lot more, so this is pretty risky. But we have the exact same answer. So I said I wanted to show off the debates, and here we go. 
So, once more, we're looking at a game of rock, paper, scissors, but with a twist added in. I forgot what, exactly what they're called, they're the winds of something, but basically, each one of these has a category they fall under, and that category will be stronger uh, in a rotating way. So, a provoke will actually trump a provoke that isn't powered up right now or one of my morale things will beat a non-morale one. And you only have so many different ones you can throw. And you can't throw the same one twice in a row, so there's quite a bit to think about. Now, Provoke gives me the most coverage. But you always get in the meta of, well, then it's the obvious choice. You should go against it. But then he knows it's the obvious choice and all that, you know. The usual rock, paper, scissors stuff. So, I'm just gonna pick Provoke, knowing that Lore will be strong next one go around. Or, uh, Sir will be strong next go around. That's unfortunate. Alright. See, now since he can't choose fate twice in a row, and he, er, provoke twice in a row, and he's already run out of cert, we're in a position where we're guaranteed a win. Yeah! <laughs> Now, with higher intelligence, you get a lot more of these. And with the uh, order skill, you get the ignore one, uh, action, which allows you to just take no damage and do no damage. Which is actually really handy towards winning duels or debates. Was actually quite fortuitous. Alright, good. Wind Show is still here. Let's see if we can get some good wine for him. And since these guys aren't an enemy, we don't have to sneak in. We have just made a lot of important connections. You Fortunately, the dude likes wine, so we can operate our relationship with that. Let's get mentored in leadership. So as governor, I actually take points if we, or actually lose merit if we don't get the uh, civic improvement done. So I do have to worry about that now. Oh, Okay, I just have to beat him in a duel. That is not going to be easy. The man is a beast. Attack, attack. Defend, knock out, defend. Okay. 
Okay. Unfortunately, this too was a bad outcome. And a narrow victory. I did not expect that. from Guan Yu. Ha-ha-ha!你的恩情，我永生难忘。我考数我拒绝。We need more liquor. We need all the liquor. 感谢您的到来。有何贵感<笑> <laughs> so, leader has his own set of ministers, which can assign uh, people from any of the cities. So, he's probably assigning all the people under me right now, which is why I have no one to give orders to. Unfortunately, it won't let me hire Win Cho. Probably because he's not close enough to us to register. So, once you get to 80, you get a quest to advance the relationship and a friendship. Unfortunately, the quest we rolled is another duel with him, which I am not confident in. attack, defend, knock out, defend, uh, this is risky. Right, now to cement the friendship. And 
gain our point in dueling. And now, we have access to the letter system. The letter system will allow him to write letters to people we know and become friends with them. This will also mean that they gain their fortes. So I can make him an even better duelist and also make Zhang Fei a better duelist somehow. Or I can do the same thing and increase his speed. Let's do that. Now it's also really good to have your friends be friends with each other, because if you can make a real tight-knit faction, then you'll have a lot of people getting bonuses for working with each other, and you can overcome great odds. I really wish I could hire Wincho. Still, I think that'll be all for this time. Thanks for watching, Mr. Fahrenheit, signing out.